an iPhone app for HPC and ML, right? It's like a little tiny thing that's all packaged up and now I can share it with the rest of my team or the entire organization and they can run it without having to like go into a terminal and install all my Python dependencies and everything. It's like a turnkey shareable entity. And we've done that so, with workloads and clusters and storage and a bunch of different things. Yeah. Because you've made that easy, my brain went directly to AI, right? Because it, that's where all the money is being spent right now is AI. <laughs> it is. Right. Yeah. Um, and the, HPC the clusters, they're great. They're great at running because they're massively parallel. They're great at training and, and doing all these AI ML um, workloads. You guys have come up with an easy way to define those workloads and make them shareable. Uh, you just opened Pandora's box. Yeah, well, it's interesting you put it that way because we, yeah, we've been very focused on HPC for our entire existence, and it's a niche world, as you as you've already kind oh, yeah. of said, right, yeah. super niche world. Um, and, but what what started happening really over the last several years is, and we didn't really even think about it, right? It's just what people are using our platform for. They're they're using our platform to provision a bunch of nodes to do like. ML training, or they'll run like our Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook workloads and just put these on some big, you know, instances in the cloud and do their model development there. It's almost like what Google Colab does. We, we can do it on more flexible sets of resources. And so we, we started finding that we're living in this world where people are using our platform for model development and then this process of scaling their training. You know, I, I developed my model on a single node, single GPU. Maybe I did it on Amazon or an Azure GPU or whatever, and or some, let's say, Intel AMX accelerator. <laughs> and there's my that's, that's what plug. I like to hear right there. There's my plug. Or yeah. some Gaudi three, some Gaudi three. Uh, there you go. Instances. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then this process of now moving it to a multi-node problem, multi-node training job, and then a multi-node uh, multi-GPU job, training job, it, it kind of cycles right back into an H, into the HPC realm. You know, you need fast HPC networking, world. you need fast file systems, and then it's really kind of the same thing, honestly. So, yeah, so I think you hit it right on the nose. Anytime I'm going to run any work that spans multiple nodes, HPC, you guys have made HPC easier to use now. So it's an option for me now. Yeah. yeah. Where the shape of those jobs kind of change though, like ML and, and, and the AI workloads, like, you know, those are the actual like scheduling layer, I feel like is kind of evolving there where it's moving a lot more to containerization and oh, yeah. OpenShift or Kubernetes. And, but, but, but they are still, you know, to start scaling the training jobs, they have the same requirements as a conventional HPC. As a conventional HPC. Well, an HPC has been around a lot longer.